New England Boating is brought to you by the new GMC Sierra Denali. That's professional grade. Also brought to you by Pursuit Boats. Explore life in a pursuit. Also brought to you by your New England Yamaha Outboard dealer and by the Shipyard Brewing Company, award-winning handcrafted beer. Welcome to New England Boating. I'm Parker Kelly. And I'm Tom Richardson. And today we're coming to you from Falmouth, Massachusetts on the southwestern tip of Cape Cod. Now, Falmouth, as you know, is a boater's paradise boasting 68 miles of coastline. To our south are Nantucket and Vineyard Sounds and to our west, Buzzards Bay. That's right. Falmouth is incredible. Um, where do we start? It's got eight separate villages, so we can't possibly do the whole thing. But it's also my hometown. This is where I was raised. This is where I grew up. We're going to show you why it's a great boating destination. <laughs> New England boating, Falmouth. Let's, Let's go. go. That lobster roll looks delicious. I'll give it to you. Yeah. To another great destination. Are you shopping for me? <laughs> oh, there's a fish. Parker's going around. I'm going to miss. Nick, short, sharp sweeps with the rod. Oh, we want the fish that can eat that thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hang on, Parker. Tom, don't joke. <laughs> I'm here with my dear friend, Richard, whom I fondly call Blakey. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Now, Blakey and I have been friends for how many years? About 35. About 35 years. Now, Blakey is the reason that I love boats. And so either you grow up boating or you meet someone. And uh, we lived in the same neighborhood and I started with a rowboat. Yep, that's right. And then we went up to an 18 foot. Yeah. And then it's all history after oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, we got bigger and bigger and faster and faster. and. Skiing like crazy. That's right. We skied in uh, Wilcoit Bay, which we'll show you that later on in this episode. And we also took lots of trips uh, across to the islands. Where else did we go? Cuddy Hunk. Yep, we went to Nantucket once. You went to Provincetown through the canal. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Tashmu and Tarpaulin Cove. Oh, yeah. And Hadley Harbor, a great place to swim. Yep. Tell everyone why Falmouth is such a great place. Falmouth is a good combination. It's uh, not only a cruising town with lots of destinations on the island, and uh, it's also fishing everywhere, all through Nantucket Sound and then out to the Gulf Stream. Yeah, it's a really great place. Yep. And how long have you lived here? Since 1965. Since 1965. It's changed a lot, yes? Oh, yes. Yes. A lot more people, a lot more traffic, but that's okay. It's a resort. Exactly. And so the harbor's changed a lot over the years, too. I mean... No, they've improved it a great deal. They've added a lot of piers and a lot of uh, good docks and bulkheads, and it's a great place to come into. Another beautiful day here in Falmouth, too. It sure is. Yep. Should we take a tour of the harbor? Okay. For old time's sake? Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. So there you have it. My friend Blakey, the reason I love boating, the reason I'm hosting this show about boating, all because of you. Thank you, friend. Okay, good. Here we are, and this is the breakwater. Now you know you're in the Falmouth Inner Harbor. There's no wake in here, so just slow it down. you got a beautiful ride ahead. There's a Falmouth institution right there, the Clam Shack. That is a great place to have fried clams in the summer. They also have the uh, Liberty, the schooner that runs out of there. Right there next to the Tides Motel is the Falmouth Yacht Club. There's the Pied Piper and the Sandpiper. Those ferries go to Edgartown. If you don't take your own boat over to the islands, you can take a ferry. And there's Falmouth Marine, that's a full service marina. They have a fuel dock there and some transient moorings. And there's McDougal's. They recently painted that and I love the color. Shows up great when you're coming into the harbor. That's another full service marina. And they also have a fuel dock too. That's the Flying Bridge Restaurant. I worked there through high school and undergraduate school. Great restaurant. Beautiful place to dine and see boaters going in and out of the harbor. There's the harbor master's office and the town docks where you can uh, call ahead and get a slip and stay for a weekend or a week. You can see the park benches up there. So often you see people sitting there just watching the boats go by. There's also the band shell. They have concerts there in the summer. There's the boat ramp. Easy place to launch your boat right here in Falmouth Inner Harbor, and the parking's free. And there's Pier 37. That has fuel also. And that's where the Island Queen usually pulls in. The Island Queen's the ferry that goes over to the island. Another one, this one goes to uh, Oak Bluffs. And behind me is the bulkhead and uh, the sh short term tie up there. There's the raw bar. I'm going to meet Tom there later for some lunch. 
Well, that's a quick tour of Falmouth Harbor. Isn't it a beauty? Love, love, love this harbor. And more of Falmouth coming up, including we're going fishing for Mahi Mahi, stand up paddleboard, uh, yoga, and stand up paddleboard tour. And we're going to go to Wakoit, and we're going to have some history of Falmouth. Lots more Falmouth coming up. Don't go away. This is incredible action. There you go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Boom, fly on the deck. <laughs> Isn't this fun, Tom? Yeah, this is a good day for a ride. And we are going to do yoga. Yes, we are. Today's high-end cruisers place luxurious cockpits on top of some of the most powerful marine engines. Likewise, GMC offers the proven Duramax diesel and Allison transmission beneath our most sophisticated cabin. The incredible thinking of the new GMC Sierra Denali HD. And now get one year of Sirius XM satellite radio, including every NFL game, on GMC Sierra. Find your dealer at NewEnglandGMC.com. Boating, it's not just a lifestyle, it's a passion. At Bosun's Marine, we understand that, and you'll see it in the way we treat you. Combining outstanding service with exceptional products. From Edgewater to Pursuit, Regal to Riviera, Rossiter Boats, and now offering Chris Craft, our inventory is second to none. With five convenient locations, you'll find what you need to get on the water in style. Don't wait, stop by today and experience the Bosun's difference. We share your passion. Explore, experience, and enjoy your life in Pursuit. Pursuit Boats. For more than 60 years, we have built premium boats with unmatched quality, durability, and performance. Whether you want action, adventure, or relaxation, we have the boat for you. We offer a wide range of models from 23 to 38 feet. Offshore, center console, dual console, sport coupe, and the sport tender. No matter what your boating style is, Pursuit has what you need. Contact your local dealer today and explore, experience, and enjoy your life in Pursuit. For details, visit PursuitBoats.com. It's 200 streamlined horsepower of Yamaha Forward Think, the all-new F200 inline four-stroke. Whether you're an offshore angler, pontoon cruiser, bay boater, or walleye hunter, the responsive and fuel-efficient F200 combines amazing power and versatility in one incredibly compact and lightweight package. The all-new F200, legendary Yamaha reliability and the freedom of forward thinking. Log on to YamahaOutboardNewEngland.com to find your nearest Yamaha Marine dealer. Well, we just docked our pursuit at the bulkhead at the head of the harbor, and here we are at the Falmouth Raw Bar. <laughs> That's right, and they are known for their lobster rolls, so we're going to go have lunch and then see if we can find out some more about this uh, very cool dock and dine in Falmouth. I'm here with Danielle Callahan, and she is the manager here at the Raw Bar. Hi, Danielle. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. So this is a perfect spot. Yes, very nice spot right on the water. Yeah, so how do boaters um, know to come here? How do, they, uh, how do they dock? Well, we have docks right down at the end of the harbor over here, and they can pull right up for as long as they want. They can call for takeout orders, or they can come right in. And they have about a couple hours, two, three hours, where they don't won't be asked to move at all. Okay, so what are some of your specialties in case people want to do uh, dock and dine in the takeout? The quickest thing anybody can get from us and actually what we're known for is our lobster rolls. We have a monster lobster roll which is 16 ounces. Well, yeah. those <gasps> are... Monster! Oh, those are indeed monster <laughs> lobster rolls. <laughs> this is the, the king of the lobster rolls, let me tell you. So, you know, I talk to everybody as much as I can and look who I found, Karen and Rick from Wickford, Rhode Island, a great, a great boat, boating destination in and of itself, yes? Absolutely. And, we love it there. And they just came into Falmouth Harbor and uh, about a half hour ago and found the same dock and dine restaurant as we did. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about uh, why you came to Falmouth. This is your first time? Uh, yeah, we're doing a tour of uh, Martha's Vineyard. We've been to uh, Menemsha, uh, Lake Tashmu, uh, Oak Bluffs, Eggertown for three nights, and now this is a uh, stop on the way back towards Rhode Island. So you've got everything in common with our boating audience. <laughs> so tell us some of the amenities that you found here in the harbor already. Uh, we're staying at the uh, city dock and the um, Falmouth Harbor Master really has his uh, act together. He knows exactly what to do, where to put you, how to describe getting in. It's very easy. Um, you know, we have a 42-foot uh, sport fish 
went right into the slip, no problem. Right across the street's West Marine. Up the street is the laundromat, and right here at the uh, raw bar, you get everything you need. And the, the after season rates are amazing. Oh, that's right, buck a foot. Buck a foot. <laughs> you know, you can't beat that. Yeah. After I'm the <laughs> economical one. <laughs> Karen and Rick from Whitford. She's the economical one. <laughs> Me, not so much. You, yeah, you need one to balance him out. <laughs> More Falmouth coming up. Stay with us. Here we are on Main Street in Falmouth. This is the perfect place to stroll. It's only a half a mile from the harbor where you keep your boat. Now this street has a historic trolley that goes by. It has a street fair in the summer that has arts and crafts. It has summer concerts, jazz fests, and there's tons of shops. This is Main Street in Falmouth. Historic, tree-lined, quick walk from the boat. Easy, easy. Let's go check out a few shops. I love your bright colored shop. Everything's so bright and beautiful. Oh, look at all the bright colors. This just feels like summer here on Main Street in Falmouth. I see you carry Jude. Yes, we do. Awesome. So I just found a bunch of new friends here and they are outside the store in the pink and looking at the Jude Connolly dresses. She's never worn one before. I was in Wellesley shopping the sale at Lily and was absolutely magnetized to the colors at Jude. It was wonderful. Friends who uh, are shopping on Falmouth Main Street, <laughs> finding a Jude, finding a Lily. Thanks so much, guys. Okay. Bye. One of the beautiful things about Falmouth is that it's steeped in history. I'm here with my friend Tom Mount Ford, and we're outside of the Historical Society in Falmouth, the museum. And this is Tom's car. How old is this car? Uh, it's 83 years old. 83 years old. So a beautiful day for a ride back in history. Let's go. Isn't this fun, Tom? Yeah, this is a good day for a ride. On our left-hand side right over here is the Falmouth Village Green. The town militia used to train there. It was laid out here in 1749, so it's a 265-year-old village green. <laughs> church on the right hand side yes. is the first congregational church of Falmouth. It's the oldest church in Falmouth. The steeple up there is a bell that was purchased by the church in 1796 and that bell was purchased from Paul Revere of Boston. So when you hear that bell, that's a historic bell, Paul Revere bell. The house on the right, this big white house, is today the parsonage for the minister of the congregational church. Okay. But in 1814 when this house was built it was built by a sea captain whose name was William Bodfish and then just a little further up on the right the yellow house which is part of the museum part of the historical society 1790 house was built by a Dr. Francis Wicks Dr. Wicks was a uh, soldier during the Revolutionary War and uh, when this house was built in 1790 they say it was the fanciest nicest most wonderful house in the entire town and today I wouldn't say it any different too. I, I, I wouldn't say any different either. That's a beautiful home. That was terrific Tom. I'm glad you had a good time. I really did. This We just scratched the surface here of the tour of uh, Historical Falmouth. Tom yes, actually did. as a volunteer and he gives these tours regularly. Great thing to do when you're visiting Falmouth. Thanks uh, so much Tom. Okay you're very welcome. Well, if you're a boater, and I know you are, you probably recognize this icon, Nobska Light, or Nobska Point Light. It sits on the uh, division between Buzzards Bay and Vineyard Sound and overlooks beautiful Martha's Vineyard. This is part of the road race, Falmouth Road Race course, and it can be seen for 17 miles out to sea there. It was originally built in 1828, and then this current structure was built in 1876. Catherine Lee Bates was born here in Falmouth and died here in Falmouth. Her, um, her home is still preserved by the Historical Society. She wrote America the Beautiful, our country's uh, second national anthem, I would say. This is one of the things to appreciate about Falmouth. This is the Shining Sea Bikeway, named after, of course, Catherine Lee Bates and her America the Beautiful, beautiful song. And this is 10.7 miles long, and it stretches from Falmouth to Woods Hole and then beyond to North Falmouth. It's a beautiful place to bike. It's just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful part of Falmouth. This is one of the uh, landmarks of Falmouth as well. This is called uh, Falmouth Heights behind me. 
and it used to be called Great Hill. There's a lot of beautiful homes up there and B&Bs. And this is actually part of the uh, Falmouth Road Race route as well. And uh, right beyond that hill, around the corner, there's a couple restaurants, a ball field, the finish line, and um, a beautiful beach. And it's often crowded, but look at the views. Today's high-end cruisers place luxurious cockpits on top of some of the most powerful marine engines. Likewise, GMC offers the proven Duramax diesel and Allison transmission beneath our most sophisticated cabin. The incredible thinking of the new GMC Sierra Denali HD. And now get one year of Sirius XM satellite radio, including every NFL game on GMC Sierra. Find your dealer at NewEnglandGMC.com. Striper Marina, a full-service marina serving Rhode Island for more than 40 years. Come and see our selection of boats, including a wide variety of pursuits, the 365 Sport Coupe, offshore models and center consoles like the 345 and popular C280 and C310, the next innovation in dual console performance, the 265, and the all-new OS325, where luxury meets unparalleled sports utility. Striper Marina, here to help you find the perfect boat for your needs. Check us out at stripermarina.com. The open water, leisure, lifestyle, excitement. At Petzold's Marine Center, we take pride in our extensive inventory of quality new and pre-owned yachts. Let our expert sales team introduce you to the luxury vessel of your dreams. And once you've made it to the open waters, our factory trained service team will ensure your boating enjoyment for years to come. Our family's business is your family's pleasure. It's a blustery afternoon here, and we are with Tim Leadham, the owner and president of Bosun's Marine, and we just blasted over from Falmouth Inner Harbor into Wakoit Bay, and Tim is going to be kind enough to show us a little bit about this place and also the island, Washburn Island. Tim, how, how deep is the water in the bay, you know, with the average depth, I guess? The average depth is fairly shallow. Mm -hmm. uh, the average depth probably is in the three to four foot range. Yeah. Uh, the channel that comes up the middle in this area where we are right here is a good 10 12 feet. Yeah, so you there's get a, a really a lot pretty of good sized boat up in A here. good sized boat. There's a beautiful storm anchorage around the corner. And how's the clamming? Clamming is phenomenal. Yeah. And uh, it's one of the most special areas around. Yeah. Tell us about Washburn Island though. That's part of a state park, right? And you can uh, camp there, right? Washburn Island is very special because it's uninhabited, it's totally wild. Uh, there are no homes on it, there are no cars on it. So, how, so how many campsites are on the island? I believe there's 10 campsites. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's run by the state, and you can call in ahead of time and, and get your reservations. Mm -hmm. This is the place to be on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon, right from the end of the jetty here, all the way to the top. You're gonna have everyone. It's just gonna be one after another. You'll have people of all different professional backgrounds. You'll have a, a $5,000 boat and a $200 wooden boat, and you'll have a $200,000 boat, and they'll be cooking their hot dogs and their hamburgers <laughs> and their cheeseburgers, and, it's just a great time. Oh, that's great. Well, we've arrived at Bosun's East Falmouth Marina here on the Childs River. And uh, Tim, thanks for the great tour of uh, Wakoit Bay and telling us about Washburn Island, all the great things to do around here. Now, tell us a little bit about your facility here. Sure. This is uh, this actually is pretty new to us. It'll be three years this fall. The facility here actually is over 100 years old. Oh, wow. We have about 50 slips in here and we have full service. But you carry fuel, gas, and diesel, right? Fuel, mm -hmm. yep, gas and diesel. And we got a great staff here, and we have a lot of really nice, we, you know, they're customers, but they're really friends of ours that come in and out, and they use Washburn Island, they go over to the vineyard. It's just a straight shot right down the river, no bridges. Uh -huh. And it's, this is really added as a nice facility in, in conjunction with our Bosun's Mashmanek Marina, which we have over on Papanesset Bay. Right. So you can get into where these beautiful gunk hauling areas from either either <laughs> that, of the marinas. That we just saw. <laughs> right. And it's right near Route 28 too. So, I mean, it's right on Route 28 right there. <laughs> right here behind yeah. us. Excellent. Pretty unique. Very convenient. Yeah. Yep. So thanks so much. Well, thank you. <laughs> Coming up next, Tom and I are going to do some stand-up paddleboard what? in West Falmouth. I'm doing yoga. You're just doing a tour. Oh. No worries, Tom. In West Falmouth Harbor. Stay with us. I'm here with Melissa LaRusso. Her, um, company is called Yoga Girl Cape Cod. Yoga Girl Cape Cod. How beautiful. And all these friends out here this morning here in Falmouth. I'm on my West Marine stand-up paddleboard and we are going to do yoga. Yes, we are. Exhale, press 
So you want to be just back behind your handle. Inhale the arms up. Exhale as you fold forward. Namaste. Was that beautiful? Steve, Tara, the whole group. Thanks to Melissa. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. That was awesome. So you do guided tours back here in West Falmouth Harbor, huh? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this is probably, West Falmouth is one of our favorites. We also do tours at night where the boards glow. Oh, really? Yeah, and so you'll get uh, eels and fish and all sorts of stuff coming up and trying to see what the lights are all about. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Do you guys cover other uh, Falmouth Harbors? You'll find us in North Falmouth, West Falmouth, all the way out to Mashpee, Kadu and Osterville. Excellent, great. And uh, so where can people find you? Find us online on Facebook and online at motioncapecod.com. Yep, that's pretty simple. Yep, yep. well, look them up and uh, go uh, take a stand-up paddleboard uh, tour or lesson with these guys. I know you'll have a great time. We sure did. But hey, don't go away because we got more of Falmouth coming your way, including some fishing action. Check it out. Today's high-end cruisers place luxurious cockpits on top of some of the most powerful marine engines. Likewise, GMC offers the proven Duramax diesel and Allison transmission beneath our most sophisticated cabin. The incredible thinking of the new GMC Sierra Denali HD. And now get one year of Sirius XM satellite radio, including every NFL game, on GMC Sierra. Find your dealer at NewEnglandGMC.com. Pursuit, built to a higher standard. Many try to replicate. Pursuit continues to innovate with cutting-edge features and top-notch technology. Offshore, center console, dual console, sport coupe, and the sport tender. We have boats from 23 to 38 feet, and once you own one, you will feel the difference. We know you have a choice, and you can put your trust in us to deliver a vessel that will take you where you want to go. Visit your factory-authorized dealer today and experience the passion we have built into each and every one of our boats. Visit PursuitBoats.com and explore, experience, enjoy your life in Pursuit. Yamaha's next generation V6 four strokes are changing the game. Mid range power was awesome. Fuel, the burn, it's unbelievable. Couldn't believe the speed and the fuel economy is pretty impressive. I mean, I couldn't believe the power. It was like a. Just. I was more like doing a quarter mile on a drag strip. And them things are like it's a whole other game. So I made the switch. Experience the difference for yourself. Log on to YamahaOutboardNewEngland.com to find your nearest Yamaha Marine dealer. Family owned and operated since 1959, at Katamit Boats, we're focused on keeping your boating world simple and hassle-free. Whether it's your first boat or your fourth, our knowledgeable and trustworthy staff has the answers you're looking for. Katamit Boats has been Grady White Boats' number one sales dealer worldwide for 2012, 2013, and 2014. New or pre-owned, we are confident you'll find the boat that is just right for you and your family. Well, as you know, Falmouth is a great place for fishing, whether you're fishing inshore or fishing offshore, which is where we're going right now. With me, with us, is Sean Ruge, Captain Sean Ruge of Riptide Charters. He also works for Navionics. And uh, Sean, tell us where we're going to go today. Yeah, so we're going to an area called the Dump, which is basically where a warm water uh, bubble is pulled up from the Gulf Stream. And we're going to target mahi-mahi down around the structure, uh, so down around high flyers and weed lines and whatever else we can find floating down there. Excellent. Uh, for the first few hours, and we'll go from there. Jump! Mine's all blue. Wow, look at, look, at the, look at the color on that one. Oh, look at the whole school. There's a ton of them here. <laughs> nice. There's going to be some good eating tonight at the Richardson house. Oh, oh man! <laughs> oh, you're under me. <laughs> Excellent, check that out, couple hitter. I got a little chicken dolphin here. Oh. <laughs> on the deck. You can't be afraid to get your deck bloody in this game. So this this that front one yeah. is probably a female. Uh-huh. This back one is a male. Because you can tell by the head, right? Yeah, the, the big square head, head on it. Yep. Whoa yeah! Whoa, all right, baby! Go. Oh, nice that's a nice one. There. That is a nice guys. one! <laughs> yeah, they call these peanut mahi, and they're uh, fairly common out around the high flyers where we're, we're fishing now. Whoa, shapers, he's still got some life in him, huh? <laughs> they're aggressive, and they, they're like, one of the few fish in New England that actually jump. Oh, oh man! Oh, Woohoo! 
So Sean, uh, these fish out here, they make great fly rod targets, right? They do, absolutely. They'll readily take a fly. If you can get it anywhere near them, you'll get the competition going. Yeah. They're a lot of fun on a light fly rod. Excellent. You don't need to cast a 100 yards either, right? <laughs> no, that's the best part, especially on a calm day. You mm -hmm. can get the boat basically right up on top of them. If you can roll cast, you can catch mine. Excellent. So I got a nine weight, you know, a nine foot nine weight. That's about all you need, right? With Perfect. The, yep. Oh my god, I love you. Got him. Hey, am I on the fly? All right, baby, my first one. This is incredible action. There he goes. All right, oh. boom, fly on the deck. <laughs> well, we uh, had our fill of mahi fishing, so now we, uh, we're we going to switch gears and do a little sharking here. Uh, we moved uh, to a different area. Tell us why, where, where we are right sure. now and uh, yeah, so what, we, what the plan is. Uh, on our run south, we had a strategy. So when we came down south, we saw some bird life and dolphins and a, a fair amount of activity in this general area. Mm -hmm. So we came back up uh, about 12, 15 miles from where we are catching mahi. And now we're going to put out a shark slick and see if we can attract uh, some bigger prey. That's great. So what do we have here for what do you need to yeah. establish the slick? So this uh, this is a five gallon bucket of bluefish chum. So this is all you really need, right? Yeah, so this is it. All you need is a, a, a rod, a hook, and a bucket of chum. Yeah, and you're, sounds you're good. good to go. So for bait, we saved uh, that jack that we caught earlier. That Parker and, caught earlier. Yeah, sorry, the Parker <laughs> caught earlier. Uh, as well as a few of the mahi, so we'll use those for bait. Let this go back out with our slick. And now we wait. No way! You can't go down with four barrels. <laughs> Not with four, you can't! But well, we're hooked up to a, a blue shark. Couldn't get enough, apparently. Wrapped around our other line. He's taking the boat back. <laughs> he's pulling us at three knots. Boy, he's taking a lot of line out of you. Say. There he is, baby. There he is. We got another shark below us. I think he just took the bait. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 he did! He took it! Loose the drag, drag. Yeah, it is, it is. So we're, we're, release, we're releasing our fish, and a shark just came up and took the remainder of the bait! Whoa, there he goes. Shark number, shark number two. Woo! He put on a show. Oh, man, that's what you call a quick release, right? Nice. Nice job. Release. Hey, release. thanks a lot, Cat Marugi. Two sharks in quick, short order and a bunch of mahi. So what's your fun. website? Tell people uh, where they can find you. Yeah, uh, you can find me on RiptideCharters.com or on Facebook for Riptide Charters, and I'm pretty easy to, easy to get a hold of. And easy to get along with, too. And he actually <laughs> can put you on the fish, so better yet. <laughs> can we head back to Falmouth? Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> Well, there you have it, the end of the Falmouth episode. Can I tell you how beautiful it was to share my home port with you yeah, and with you? Yeah, no, it was great. Goodness, seeing you, it again through these eyes. Yeah, I'll tell you, you know this place, and it is a great boating destination. Yeah. Now, to learn more about uh, Falmouth and other New England boating destinations, check out our website, newenglandboating.com. And also follow us on Facebook to see behind the scenes and where we'll be next week. Hey, until next time, I'm Tom Richardson. And I'm Parker Kelly. Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs>